easy is i'm gonna tell you who easy is and and i know you have a wrestling podcast you know to plug yeah. that in attitude era yeah. podcast for sure right um a lot of people probably gonna go crazy i know you probably gonna go get the fuck out of here when i say this not not in terms of the wrestling move now nah, you know what easy might be he paused once again easy might be the rock I knew you was gonna do now. Can I explain? Now can I explain, right? See, I, Go ahead. I, I like the show love. Look, it pause, but easy might easy might be the rock. And I'm gonna tell you why. Remember right. when Rocky Maivia came out? The yeah. rock, he was shaky. Yeah. Niggas ain't know who he was. Nobody was fucking with him. Niggas wasn't watching him. Niggas wasn't de- robbing yeah, with him. Yeah, niggas wasn't jacking he had, him. He almost he got had wild out. matches that nobody could account for. Then he found his character. The same thing happened with Easy. That's why the easy is the people's champion. Tay okay. Rock was the people's champion. Okay, okay. Tay Rock was okay. the people's champion. But easy is now the people's champion. He's selling elbows. You understand what I'm saying? That's what he cooked up and he's selling elbows. The people's eyebrow. He talked to you. He is the people's champ. So when he first came out, nobody was rocking with him. He came out of them stink draws. No shirt on. Everybody, the fade. Who is this? What is he doing? He he can't wrestle. He's trash. Who is this? Found his character, and now that he got his character, that's why I know when you do the the, the you know when you, if nah, you bring him you, up there for but, attitude yeah, era. But, but you know what's I think crazy he would though? Be the rock, you know yeah, what I mean? you know you know what's crazy though when you say that is because I'm when you break it down, all that shit makes sense. I was just not saying that based on a, the longevity aspect. Like to me right now. Because we talked about it, and um, well, fuck it, I'll give my answers because I'll say it again. But I felt like e- I feel like easy right now is Goldberg, mm. and I said Goldberg because he's on some not mean who's next. Everybody's you know, what I mean, remember when Goldberg came in WCW and he went on that yeah. undefeated streak like he is on the app, everybody in their mother backstage was trying to you not know I mean, wind up getting into a, a match with him so they could take that undefeated streak, and he wound up going like. 175 and 0 or some crazy shit, but just the impact when Goldberg hit. It I was like, like that. You know what I mean, so I had I had him being. I like. I just think the story of the, oh, the Rock is doing movies and all that. Goldberg too. Goldberg was in movies okay, and all yeah. that. Young. Yeah. Okay. I see you fresh. So friends. I could pick okay. easy, like simply just because nobody was nobody paid him no attention until yeah. he found his character. Yeah. Now it's dickhead bullshit. He copy, got moves copy. I got now. You. Now goods, when you expl- good is. Goods is, Goods is Ric Flair. Nah, Goods is Million Dollar Man. No, Ted DiBiase? No, no, all right, no, no, wait. Oh, Goods, Ric Flair? Not me, Good. Ric, Ric Flair kind of brought style into wrestling, had niggas feeling like it was money in wrestling when it wasn't. You know what I mean? Limousine surf, driving, so surf, Rolex wearing. So either wearing. Goods is Ric Flair or Surf the Million Dollar Man. You think Surf the Million Dollar Man? I had Surf being Triple H. <laughs> I'm going to tell you why, because when Surf makes an appearance, it's golden. Right, it's golden yeah. when he makes an appearance. Million Dollar Man doesn't make appearance all the time. Mm. So when a million dollar, when Ted DiBiase shows up, it's with the briefcases, with the money, and what he got, his goons, Virgil and them, carrying yeah. the briefcase, opening it up, million <laughs> and everything. So imagine Ric Flair and, and Ted DiBiase arguing. That's surfing goods. Okay, okay, I'm not <laughs> mad at that. That's okay. surfing that's goods. I had surf being Triple H, and I had, um, and I think Twerk is Brock Lesnar. Oh, talk to me. I need to know. All right. I need to know why Surf is Triple H. Talk to me why Surf Triple H. Like, like Saga compared me to Triple H, but I was like. Hold on. Time out. Nigga said J2 is gold dust. (laughs) Yo, y'all niggas is crazy, man. Shout out to J2, man. Y'all niggas is out of control. Byron just, Byron. Yo, make, 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 sure, make sure y'all subscribe to the Attitude Era podcast. We <laughs> drop episodes every Friday, 12 p.m. Eastern time. The Patreon, you can see the episodes early. Salute to the homie J2, man. Yeah, that this is, nigga is just automatically Yo. made him go dust. Yeah, hilarious. <laughs> Yo, so, so this is my thing, right? I, I think Twerk is Brock Lesnar because when Brock Lesnar came out, he wasn't part of the Attitude Era, but he came right after, and his impact was so heavy. That everybody, not mean, just started rocking with him, doing that F five slamming niggas impact. The right. only, oh matter of fact, I feel like he, I feel, I feel like his potential is Brock Lesnar, but niggas said he might be Sid Vicious because Sid Vicious was dominant, but his injuries held him back from, you know what I mean, getting where he was Ooh, supposed to go. That's a you good feel one. me? So I feel like that's his, a good one. I feel like his ceiling is Brock Lesnar, but if we stop it right now, he might be Sid Vicious because. He's he's dangerous, but we gotta see him at his full potential. Yo, nigga said, Daryl said, 
T Top is Rakishi. These <laughs> niggas is <laughs> yo, these niggas, niggas is crazy. Niggas how niggas look these niggas is crazy. They're not going off of statistics. But yo, <laughs> what's so crazy is this, right? And this is what we're trying to figure out right now when I was talking to Warren and Z. How is it that Smack is Smack DVD, but I don't feel right saying Smack is who I'm about to say. Beasley's Vince McMahon. As crazy as it sounds. It's Smack's company also, mm. and he's the face, but he, but but it just character wise, Beasley so got to be know Vince who, McMahon. So you know who Smack is then, right? Who? Smack might be Eric Bischoff. Mm. Okay, I'm not mad Smack, at that. Smack willing to get his hands dirty. And yeah. get in the ring with us why Beasley ain't willing to get in there and stand in there to take punchlines and everything. Smack is drinking. He's in the ring. He's looking at girls. He's talking to them. He's bugged yeah. out. So he would be Eric Bischoff because he's getting money. He's a part of the CEO just as well. You know what I'm saying? And I look at it like like Eric Bischoff got his hands dirty. Yeah, and, yeah. and I'm saying it, and Vince then, got and his only, hands dirty too. In, no, but in I'm only saying ways. that if you call him Beasley Vince, because <laughs> yeah. Smack is automatically Vince. But this is only if you saying. But 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 see, I would think he's automatically Vince. But but think about Beasley's character. Think about Vince. Smack is not getting on the trailers. Smack ain't really doing interviews, talking crazy to niggas, arguing with other companies. Doing it. it's like Beasley whole persona is Vince McMahon. Nels is Stephanie McMahon. Now, I mean, she the daughter of the company. Right, and, right. And Chico is Pat Patterson and Gerald Briscoe. Now, I mean. <laughs> and so, now, does that make, so does that make, um, does that make Jay Black and Anwar, Jerry the King, Lawler, and Jim Ross? I don't know. Yo, Anwar, I don't know if he could be Jerry the King, but Jay Black is definitely Jim Ross. 100%. <laughs> Anwar, nah, might, it, Anwar it, might be Coach Man or Anwar might be Teddy. You know who Teddy is? Teddy Teddy Long. He was the nigga with the glasses, the old man. I gotta go back. And, I gotta go back and see that one. Yeah, I gotta go back and see that oh, one. Oh nah, yeah. no, it's perfect. If Twerk is Brock Lesnar and was Paul Heyman. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that's his. Okay, artist. there we go. There yeah, we go. That's his artist. There we go. So so Twerk is Brock for sure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, right. I think I think somebody else that I was talking to said Sid Vicious after I said Brock. And I said, I'm going to just say Brock Lesnar because I feel like he's back on track. And when he reaches his ceiling, it's going to end with Brock Lesnar. So, yeah. Nigga said, nigga said, AJ said, I'm the big show. Nah, um, we was talking before. I'm I'm, I'm Hulk Hogan. And I'm going to yeah. tell you why I'm Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan, right, is an OG legend goat in the game, right? Got the most simplest move, right? So that'll come to my four-bar buildups that, you know, niggas say is simple or whatever. Uh, so Hulk Hogan got the leg drop and the, and, the, and the slam. So Hulk Hogan was the is the people's champion too. Hulk Hogan niggas couldn't beat Hulk Hogan as simple as Hulk Hogan. Well, you know Hulk Hogan throw you to the ring. It's the big boot, the leg drop, or the or the or the chop to the chest. That's all you getting. But guess what? Niggas could not defeat that shit no matter what. Stone Cold hit you with. I mean, sorry. Um, Hulk Hogan hit you with that leg drop, and Hulk Hogan was the people's champion and started a whole new era with the whole NWO shit. Mm. You dig what I'm saying? So I came from the Lions then and started rumbling in the URL smack era and now in caffeine on the app. So Hulk Hogan transitioned through different eras. I'm doing the same thing as Hulk Hogan. So, so you know, I'm, I'm be I, I might come out of some big yellow boots in my next match. Man. Nah, nah. Right now, that's what we was... This is, so what Rain said is, right? Rain was like, when niggas do the description... Cause this did this be the thing. Nobody watch wrestling like that no more. But we watched it so much then. It's bringing niggas back. So Rain said, when you explain it, right? I'm gonna have him come on the show and say this. He said it gotta go through their whole career. So I like the Hulk Hogan comparison with you because right now you on your second run. Right now you right, Hulk right, Hogan. Right. On, you Hulk Hogan on the NWO. That's how. That's how I look at it. Now the number one question, and we can change that, but I'm saying we agree. Like, I, yeah, I, yeah, like I, agree, Hulk, I agree. And Hulk is for the people. Like Hulk, yes. Hulk Hogan is the American dream of champions. Like the, the like the people's champ. So that's how. Or, I feel like or, just or, well. or I got one better. You probably started off as Hulk Hogan, red and yellow. When you was showing up with the two rounds, then you was on your Hollywood Hogan shit, NWO, you ain't give a fuck. <laughs> and now, and now you back on your ready. Because remember, I, you know what? That's a good one because even though I was only showing up with two rounds, I was beating everybody yeah. still. Yeah. And remember when Hulk Hogan was losing, 
niggas are coming to ring and do something and, and, and still help them win. Yeah, yeah, win. Yeah, still get the yeah, win. Yeah, yeah, all right. I like that. I like that. Yeah. I like that. I like that. So the number one question in the chat right now is who is Stone Cold? Yo, oh, somebody said Hitman. Come Yo, I ain't like going that. live, right? I now, like, I like that. Stone Cold is my favorite wrestler. So obviously, I wouldn't want to be him, but just career wise and attitude wise, I know I don't possess that. So we was, remember, we was on the phone saying the same thing. I don't know who would be Stone Cold. <sighs> Stone Cold and Battle Rap. Stone Cold. That's a, that's a, ooh, that's a lot of them saying Tay Rock. Yeah. Somebody said Hitman John Cena. Somebody said Diz. Somebody said Rock. Oh, nigga said Rock is doink. Niggas is crazy. Insane. Nah, um, ah, uh, oh, um, DNA said, um, Surf is Triple H. Somebody yeah, asked Yeah, I had that. Surf being Triple H. Um, Stone Cold, though? Is Geechee Stone Cold? N -n nah, I wouldn't give Geechee Stone Cold. Okay. You know what? Tay Rock might be. He cursed the most. Yeah. Bitch. He cursed the most out of every battle act rapper. like you know. Yeah, he curses the most out of every battle rapper. He but has that know. attitude when he comes to the ring. He be talking light bars. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. He goes crazy. Probably does the most talking in the ring or whatnot. Um, I don't know. if uh, That's a good one, man. Stone Cold. Who would be Stone Cold? Yeah, I don't know who would be Stone Cold. I'm still trying to think. I got a good one for you. I got a good one for you. We're going to figure out who Stone Cold is. I like Rock so far as being Stone Cold. Now, Ars got a super attitude when he in the battle rap ring, but I don't think Ars is, is Stone Cold per se. I, I wouldn't probably give him that. Now, who is who is Lux? Mm, Lux got Lux and Mook, they got to be some. I think they before the attitude era, so we got to go like, like like Hulk Hogan, that type, that golden era. Who the fuck is Lux? That's a good question. Lux might be Macho Man. Uh, I don't know. Somebody says Shine and Stone Cold. Lux is Macho Man. Mr. Lux, said Mr. Perfect. <laughs> Lux is Ultimate Warrior. You think Ultimate Warrior? I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. I think we're gonna have to sit down and really and really, really, really have a thought process on this is tough. Yeah. It's I mean tough. so far, right? So far, we got three episodes come out, and nobody has agreed with the three guest answers. You know what? Hold on. Hold on. Who just posted that? Somebody said Lux might be Sting. Mmm. I'm somebody not mad said, at that. Somebody said Lux might I'm be Sting. I'm not mad at that. I like that because Sting was around for a long time. And then he came back, and I mean, as Crow Sting with the bat, niggas was fucking with him. And you know Lux, you know Lux pop up with his hoodie on or his bucket. Yeah, he don't battle. He just keep watching, mm -hmm. and then he had come, he had come down, do a slight interview, and go back about his business. Okay, okay. Who's Mook then? Is Mook Ultimate Warrior? Mook being Ultimate? No, Mook is Mook might be motherfucking Macho Man. Mm, okay. And, and I'm saying that because he think about how Mook talks. Yeah, because you know I came through and and I, I murdered the block and oh yeah, <laughs> Mook, Mook rhyme like that because you know we learn it and 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 I and I had the nigga swerving with the with the gun that clap you and they leave you in a suburban and, and oh yeah, <laughs> might like Mook might be yeah. macho man, man. Who's Rex then? Rex might be Ultimate Warrior. Lex Luger. Oh. Oh, now, you know what's funny? This might sound crazy. And we not giving Stone Cold the rock. I mm. might give Stone Cold the Rex, man. I might give Stone Cold to Rex, man. I might give Stone Cold the Rex, man. I might. And these are all legends we name it. So Mook being Macho yeah, Man, yeah, yeah. Super That's Legend. Yeah. Um, Lux being... um. Uh, Sting, super legend. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we need less back. We need less talk battle rap podcast. We need to do stats with the wrestlers' careers, and then the battle rappers, so we could legitimately. We need cards. We need wrestling cards. Yeah, That's the next yeah. thing we're gonna do. So whatever episode you decide to do. Matter of fact, we we linking up um this week anyway. Yeah. So we that's what me and you do. Me, you, Z, Warren. 
we'll all really sit down and, and, and really try to think of who's who and see if everybody agree with the list, maybe. Nah, that's a fact. That's and a we fact. probably could do that. So so we're gonna jump, we're gonna we're gonna get off the wrestling uh joint for a second or whatnot. Um we're no, gonna come no, back to that. No, Ella Brown, no, we're not. What is that? She said, Are we in the same crib? I'm like, no. If we in the same crib and decide to go in two different rooms, that's that just too crazy to ever. even do. <laughs> I'm in yep. my house. I'm in. I'm, he's in his office. I'm in my office. In my house. He's in his office. In his house. Two different joints, man. Hey, my my next. 